Hello my Aries and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I'm Debbie and I'm reading for November 10th through the 16th. Now I've done the overview. Hope um, during interesting times or something like that. But remember these are general readings may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. My Aries, you know more than you think. You have some very good ideas. Write them down. Write them down. Keep a journal. And now I'm not somebody that likes to write things down either, but I think that you need to date and keep a journal and write your ideas down because when you write them down, and especially since we're coming to this new moon, it can make things happen. Okay? Okay. So I told you we have a new moon. Uh, we are in the waning moon. So what do we need? What do you need to release? And also work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Again, write these things down. Um, it's going to be very important because you're going to you're able to manifest a little bit more. And I get a very strong, even though you are a fire sign, I do get a very strong um, King of Pentacles, King of Earth energy around you right now and that's that's like the subject matter expert that's like the person that knows knows um his stuff or her stuff i know that it's um you know i mean it's whether you're male or female the king of pentacles is that one midas touch i get that for you my aries especially during this time okay so let's see what we have here higher power holy spirit what else would you like to say to our Aries. What do our Aries need to know? What would you like to say? Okay, we got one, two, and we have three cards all reversed. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. First card is the Nine of Michael. Stop stressing so much. Stop worrying so much. Stop saying your what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. So nine in itself is the completion card. Whatever's done is already done. Michael is the air energy. It is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Now, you are in that north node. Libra is in that south node. So things are working its way to become a better space for you. Okay? Now, this is the time when you're kind of like, what if? Again, it's all about what if, what if, what if. You've got to let go of the what ifs. You have to live kind of in that moment. You have to live in the moment. Remember, if you live in the future, you're prone for anxiety. If you live in the past, you are, pro you are prone for depression. Live in the now, okay? What did they say? Um, yesterday is history. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. Live in today because that's why they call it the present, because it is a gift, okay? I, I messed up on that, but you get my gist, okay? Stop worrying about what if, what if, what if. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome. Remember, I'm telling you to write things down. So focus your thought on, thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. This is what I'm telling people to have crazy faith. Next card is the Queen of Ariel. Now, I love the queens. Um, the queens are very emotional and very caring energies because the underlying energy is our water, is our... Raphael is our cup energy. That's Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Fluid, emotional, spiritual. But, A but Ariel is our earth energy. And that is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And remember, Taurus still has Jupiter in it. And it also have Ur has Uranus. So expect the unexpected. And we have Pluto in Capricorn just digging up the dirt. Just refinishing and just kind of building... You know, just getting everything ready for that new foundation. The Queen of Ariel is in a good space. She likes nice things. She likes her place to be nice. At the same time, she's mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. So take care. of Instead of worrying, take care of yourself. I'm not telling you to go spend money. But you can love each other. You can love yourself. You can love your, you know, to those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. She is dressed beautifully. She knows what she she knows her worth. Okay, next card reversed again. <clears throat> the magician. I told you manifest. 
write things down. So you have a 9119, one new beginning. This is Archangel Raziel. Raziel is the angel that knows the secrets, knows the secrets, and helps to, helps to reveal. The magician will say, as on earth, as in heaven, so on earth. The magician is not a trickster. The magician actually makes things happen. That's why I'm telling you to write it down, my Aries. Write it down. Believe. Make things happen. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. So you got to believe. You got to believe. You got to write it down. You got to let go of worry. You got to let go of that stress and have crazy faith. And, you know, that's something I'm always saying anyway, because that's how I get things done is crazy faith. You know, so ask God. God, I can't, I can't wait to see what you're doing next. I can't wait to see your blessings. Okay, these, we got card that fell over. Here we go. Two of action. Two is crossroads, choices, decisions, partnering. Action is your energy, fire. Leo and Sagittarius. Okay, here we go again. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or at creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Kind of wraps up this whole thing, doesn't it? Okay, let's go on here and see. Okay, inspirational wisdom. Angels and fairies for my Aries. Here we go. Let's see what we've got here for my Aries. What do we have, angels? Angels, angels, angels. Let's see. What do we have here going on? Higher power. Holy Spirit. Okay. Card fall. Oops. Put that here. Reversed. Fairy voyage. Fairy voyage voyage. Let's see what our words are. See, yes, as a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. Did you know you were a child of power? Kind of talking about it. You can manifest things. You can make things happen, my Aries. Write it down. Believe it. Okay, let's see what else we might have. What crystal or energy would be good for my Aries to carry? Here we go. Crystal or energy for Aries, Aries to carry. Crystal or, crystal energy, what would be good for Aries? Here we go. Blue calcite, soothing, inner peace, universal perspective, kind of seeing the whole picture, strong memory. Hmm. Does that make sense to you? Okay, do you need that? Okay, we talked about the moon, so let's see what do the moonology cards have for my Aries. Okay, what do you have? What do you want to say? What do you want to tell our Aries? What is there? How do we wrap this up for our Aries? Here we go. Again, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the the bigger picture. So, my Aries, does that make sense for this week? Let me know. All right, my Aries, do me that favor. Yes, I need it. I need you to do it, so please do it. Like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You help me. Thank you. I hope I help you, and if you would help me. If you're watching me on Rumble, then Rumble me too. As always, though, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.